last few days, we have been asking this question, is happiness our innate nature or is it an external influence? And we said that if we can see that, you know, this is, it is, if we can see the possibility or if we could see that this is our innate nature, then we will make an effort to ensure this happiness within us. And this is possible through right understanding in the self and right feeling and thought in the self. <clears throat> but if we think that this is something that we have to get from outside, then we will try for getting happiness from outside. For instance, from the taste of some favorable sensation through the body through the sense organs of the body, when there is contact with some physical facility, be it food or be it, you know, music or whatever appeals to the five senses, then I keep trying for that to give me happiness. Similarly, one can keep trying to get happiness from favorable feeling from another human being. So when um, among you know, the spouse or the family members say the children don't listen, and you say the children are not respecting me. So I will try to make effort so that I get some favorable feeling from them or from people from outside. I may build a bigger house or get a bigger car so that if I think that I'm going to get respect. So here I'm trying to get the favorable feeling from somebody else, another human being. And we'll see that we have been paying attention to all these things from a long time. We keep trying to get our favorable sensation. We keep trying to get the favorable feeling from others. And now it is time to look at ourselves, look within and pay attention to the self. This also we said that there is, it is a proposal for you to verify and to validate in your behavior, in your own living. We looked at what is happiness and unhappiness. So if I'm in a state or situation where there is harmony, there is synergy, then you will be able to see that it is naturally acceptable for you to be in that state or situation. So to be in that state of harmony is happiness. And what is this harmony? When what you are is in alignment with what you really want to be, that is your natural acceptance. Similarly, you can see, you know, if you can see within you, you will find that if the state or situation in which you live has disharmony or contradiction in it, then it is not naturally acceptable to you to be in that state or situation. And if you are not able to come out of that state, then it is like you are forced to be in that state of disharmony or contradiction, and that is unhappiness. So happiness is to be in a state of harmony. Unhappiness is to be forced to be in a state of contradiction. If we look at the sources of happiness, there are three possibilities. Right. One is to have right understanding and right feeling in the self. Right understanding, that is, 
understanding of the harmony at all the levels of my being. So harmony within myself, harmony with the body, harmony in the family, harmony in the society, harmony in nature and existence. These may seem like words because we have heard them again and again. But now when we start exploring and we are able to see the harmony, beginning with the harmony within myself, then we'll be able to appreciate that this possibility is there of having happiness in continuity with this. There is a definite completion point which you can maintain, which you can sustain. It is possible. And that is a state of self-organization. I am Swatantra. I am able to be happy within, regardless of the situation outside. And when you have the right understanding of the harmony at all the levels, then you also understand relationships and you have the right feeling within. There also, whenever you have the right feeling within, that continuity is possible. There is a definite completion point and this is a state of self-organization. So we'll find that this can be a source of continuous happiness. On the other hand, if we keep trying to get this favorable feeling from another human being, we'll find that you are dependent on the other human being. And this is temporary. There is no possibility of continuity in this. So this may lead to some temporary excitement or what we think of as pleasure or temporary happiness. But continuity, that won't be possible. We can also, or we have been trying to get happiness through the body, through the various sense organs of the body. Here again, you will find there is a dependence on the body and there is a dependence on the physical facility also from which you are getting that sensation. So again, this is temporary. There is no completion point and continuity is not possible. So one is when there is you know, right understanding and right feeling in the self, that possibility of continuous happiness is there. But when we are trying to get it from outside through sensation or through feeling from another, that can be a source of temporary excitement or temporary pleasure or temporary happiness, if you want to call it that. But continuity will not be possible. And you can explore it and see that. So we took some examples also. So when we are trying to get this happiness temporarily from outside, we try to consume all this physical facility, try to enjoy these favorable sensations in some form or the other. Or we keep trying to get the favorable feeling from another. And so momentarily, you might feel that, okay, I feel good. Temporarily, I feel excited. But after that, what happens? When it is not there, then what happens? I slip into unhappiness due to its absence. So either I reach out for it again and again and again in that attempt for continuity of happiness or if it's not there, I become unhappy. And if I become unhappy, then I try to find ways of escaping this unhappiness. So I may start trying to get this happiness from somewhere else because now I'm trying to escape from the unhappiness. 
So people get into overeating, leading to obesity, oversleeping, lethargy, other physical facilities like tobacco, smoking, alcohol, drugs, and so on. So if we keep moving from one to the other, we just keep remain, remaining in this loop. We keep going from the temporary excitement when we have that available to us and then slipping into unhappiness whenever the availability is not there and trying to escape from this unhappiness through other ways. And so we keep going round and round in this. This is an example of animal consciousness where we are not aware of this higher faculty within ourselves. But the other route, another route that is possible is to try to make effort for this transformation. And if we can work towards this transformation, this development within us, then there is the possibility of having the right understanding and right feeling within. And there is a possibility of having it continuously. But I have to make effort for it. This shift when it happens, this transformation, the process once it happens, this is our path towards development of the human consciousness. That faculty within, which is there within each and every one of us. So that is the task to do. This much we had covered so far. So now we can see, or at least, you know, we can see this possibility that this possibility of continuous happiness is there with right understanding and right feeling within the self. But when we keep trying for happiness through physical facility, through the sensation, through the body, or from another human being, then that possibility of continuity is not there. So this source of continuous happiness, when it is within me, right? When I can see it within me, then I can also see that this is my innate nature. This is my true nature. But as long as I keep trying to look outside, it looks like I have to keep getting it from outside. This is then an external influence that I keep trying for, which is what we have been doing. So like we were saying, since we aspire for happiness and continuity, we can work towards or make effort for seeing the possibility of this continuity of happiness by looking, paying attention inside, which we will do in the days to come in, when we start the exercises. And now a word about prosperity also. What is prosperity? It is the feeling of having more than required physical facility. The importance here is on the feeling. So again, this feeling of prosperity is going to be within us. On the outside, there will be that this um, will be able to see that we have more than required. For understanding what is more than required, we must have an understanding of what is required. Only then can we know if it is more than required or less than required. And we'll be able to see that the requirement of physical facility is only a requirement for the body. 
if I am trying to um, if I am trying to get happiness through physical facility, then it will never be enough. We can see this for ourselves, isn't it? So when it comes to the body, some requirement is there. I need to take responsibility for this body. So I have to nurture it, I have to protect it, I have to rightly utilize it. And for that, some amount of physical facility is required. If I can understand that, then I will also see that this requirement is very limited. I can only use so many clothes to wear. I can only eat so much food to nurture the body. Of course, if I'm trying to get happiness through the food, I may keep eating more and more and more. But it will not be nurturing for the body. So then I am not really taking care of the body also. I am not nurturing the body also. At the same time, I keep feeling I want more. I want more. That feeling of having enough is not there because I'm trying to look for this happiness from outside. There was a question just a few minutes back about, you know, what if we keep getting uh, this happiness from outside temporarily? What's wrong with that? Well, we can ask ourselves this. So if we are trying to work for this happiness from outside through the physical facility, then like in this case of the food, now we'll be harming the body also. And at the same time, is there a completion point? There is no completion point. At some point, you want to get out of that state. You don't want to keep eating. We can observe this within ourselves. So this feeling of having more than required physical facility, this feeling we will have if we understand what is required physical facility. That physical facility is required only for the body and it is required in a limited quantity. So when we reach that quantity or a little more than that, then we feel satisfied, we feel happy that we have this, you know, more than what is required. Now we have this feeling of prosperity within us.